Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at Inhabitat.com, and they have a story about how Philip Ross likes to make concrete-like bricks with mushrooms, specifically the roots of the reishi mushroom, which is called mycelium. Any mushroom roots are called mycelium. It eats away at some organic matter you could use, maybe sawdust, straw, rice hull, hulls. There's all sorts of different pieces of debris, grass clippings even, I imagine. If you put them together, sterilize them, then inoculate them with the reishi mushroom fungus. And there's several pictures here of the process. This is what appears to be the drying system. He has a fan on the ground and a dehumidifier right here. So you just get hot dehumidified air running past it. It should dry it out. And the drying action does two things. One, it stops the mycelium from growing any further. Because if you let it grow unchecked, it would eat away at all the organic material. And two, it lightens the load. It makes it more lightweight. So you have a, a piece of structural material that is stronger than concrete pound for pound and very lightweight. Now, there are several pictures here in this article. Of course, I will link to this article in the description. He's an artist, so he's looking at it from an art perspective. So he grows it out till the mushrooms are fruiting. I imagine you could just cut the process a little bit shorter before they start to fruit. But would the system, or rather structure, really be as strong as concrete at that point? The reishi mushroom you can make teas out of. You can't eat fresh because it is practically rock hard. Of course, again, you can see more about this amazing technique in the link in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.